But it's sort of like a dream world, I suppose. I just think the whole trip is luxurious. Very peaceful and relaxing. Unforgettable. It's the best way of seeing France. Everyone should do this at least once in their life. Very, very special. And when we drove up, you could see the boat sitting there in the canal, and the wonderful, beautiful scenery all around it, the serene, slow-moving canal. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. We got on board to a, a traditional welcome, and it's really a pleasure to be here. Well, when we first stepped on board, I thought it was a beautiful barge, spacious, tasteful, and very inviting. From the word go, the welcome we receive, and everything on board is perfect. So about the, the barge, you are in a special barge, the Panache. So it was before a cargo and the Panache was built in 1951. It was really amazing meeting the captain and he is yeah. just so uh, outgoing and gregarious. It's just, it's just fabulous. Charming. Charming. <laughs> we enjoyed his company the whole ride. He felt like an old friend from the very beginning. I think my first impression would be how immaculate all of the facilities are. And then you go downstairs and you're just in awe at how gorgeous the dining room is, the living area. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I haven't got to the bedroom yet. Well, although the cabins are naturally compact, they have thought of every, every possible way to add storage so that you can get out of your suitcase and then you feel like you're really at home here. Typical day is breakfast, which is always beautifully served with fresh fruit. And there's always a a morning briefing about exactly what we're going to do that day. There's an opportunity to follow the barge along by bicycle or walking. And in the afternoon will be perhaps a shore excursion on the minibus to a local vineyard or place of interest. So the Domaine Fista is a small family estate and uh, we do grow some 10 hectares uh, of vines. And uh, we do have seven different uh, grape varieties. Well, the excursions that have been planned for us are so well thought out and things that really interest us. We are here in Alnheim, so in the top north of Alsace, close to Strasbourg here. And the glass blowing was just um, fascinating. I've never seen it done like that. Yeah, you don't just sit around. You have planned events and it just keeps you entertained the entire time. The church is outside of the chateau and this church was built at the 15th century. Well, the tunnels were pretty amazing. I mean, you could see the light at the other end and it looked like it was only about a block long. And uh, a half hour later, you were still in the tunnel and maybe only halfway to the other end. And that part did seem very romantic to us too, with candlelight on the tables and just going through there at such a slow pace. And then when you come out, you can see the reflection on the water. It was just absolutely was gorgeous. It was really pretty. I think the highlight so far has been that odd lift where the boat goes sideways and it just shows you the, the wonders of French marine engineering. Well what, one of the, uh, the beauties of traveling on a, on a barge is you, you get to some beautiful isolated uh, small villages and um, because we're going at uh, a slow pace you can hop off the boat and, and go in and, and visit the boulangerie and pick out some bread and just really enjoy the local sites. The thing we like about going on the barge is if we were to do it ourselves and explore a part of the country, we would um, have the stresses of driving and navigating ourselves, whereas this way we get to relax, but we still see the real countryside. You're really experiencing France, not just a superb hotel. You're in France and you want to see what each area has to offer, and we've been in several different areas and I think each one is the best, and then I go to another part of France, of course they're all the best. We always look forward to the dinner because food is the main reason we're in France. And it's just such a treat to come down and see how they've beautifully decorated the table. And then of course the food is always exquisite. Uh, the presentation of all the food is absolutely incredible. Obviously they yeah. are real artists. You feel like you're really in an expensive restaurant. And that's something you don't get on a cruise someplace else. This is really original. And the, uh, the chef is amazing. 
Okay, so tonight's main course is turbot. It's a flatfish from the Atlantic. It's a cold water fish. I've served it with fondant potatoes. Uh, the sauce is Bordelais. I've just dropped in a little bit of uh, lobster claw inside there. Uh, the puree is uh, cauliflower. And we've done some crispy pancetta and some comfy leeks. Enjoy. And wonderful wines. Oh, wines. Oh, mm -hmm. So tonight I brought you two beautiful wines from the region Burgundy. The red one is a Pinot Noir from 2012. But the one thing I can say is that on these trips that your wine glass never goes dry. This particular cruise, we are uh, two Americans, a Brit and uh, an Australian couple. Really makes it nice because you got that international exchange. I think the people we meet on board are just always very interesting people. They've traveled a lot and it's just fun spending time with them. It's so nice to be able to talk to other people, sharing the experience that we're having each day. Back home they said, well, you're going to go on this barge you don't know anybody? And they says, we don't need to know anybody. We're going to meet the friends we never met. That's good. That's better. We don't usually stay up till 12 o'clock. And we didn't even know it was 12 o'clock. We were having so much fun. It was like sitting around after you have a big dinner with your family. And you just sit there and you talk and you laugh. And before you know it, it's midnight. Yeah, we just met them yesterday and already they're old friends. This is a treasure that most people don't know about. It's our second cruise, and we just feel like we want to tell everyone. We're already planning our third barge cruise, just two days into this one. Here, you're part of it. You're immersed in it. That's and true. that makes it really special, because you don't get that in other cruises. Instead of 250 people on board, we have eight. Eight very pampered people. <laughs> <laughs> the holiday is a bit expensive, but what you get for it is very good value for money. We've done a lot of travelling and we, we can't afford to do it every year, but we'd sooner save up and have this experience every couple of years. Because after all, it's the value of the money you get for the experience. Very luxurious. And it's something that you wouldn't get anyplace else. I mean, it's just something once you've done it, you really realise that it doesn't exist anyplace else. That this is almost like a one-on-one -on -one experience. For a very special occasion, this is the place to be. Yeah, absolutely. Unforgettable.